The highly anticipated comedy Easter Sunday hits theaters tomorrow. It's a heartwarming story about family and community, also serving as a love letter to Filipino American culture. Joining us now with more is one of the film stars, Chicago native Rodney Doe. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thanks for welcome having home. me. Yeah, Thank welcome you for, home. I love coming back to Chicago. I just love it. Yeah. Especially yeah. in the summertime, it's right? Incredible. Especially in the summertime. I actually, this might sound strange. I've lived in LA long enough now that I love the winters. Oh, you yeah. miss them? Yeah. Oh, I miss man. snow. Yeah, I miss like I miss putting on boots. Seasons? I know, I know. It looks it's so ridiculous, right? No, I'm with you. No, I kind of no, like no, the no. seasons yeah. too. Yeah, that's, but if we could only shorten the seasons, that's, that's the that's, thing. Okay, that's fair. That's yeah, totally okay. fair. Mm -hmm. How fun was it to make this movie? What a great cast! It's truly the uh, greatest project I think I've ever been really? associated with. Yeah, I would say that for me, like it, again, it was one of those things that when actors go into to projects and stuff, you kind of have to. There's like this getting to know each other period, yeah. trying to feel each other's you know idiosyncrasies out, and like there's just a, we it, particularly this specific project we sort of like dialed in from the beginning there was a common language here like we all knew what this was about there was no like trying to figure out what this story was because we're all yeah. living it we grew up in this yeah. story so it was really special and you all had a, a, an extreme challenge because you had to make it during COVID sure did. Mm. yeah right during the height of COVID yeah we were one of the few uh, uh, projects very grateful that we were greenlit by Spielberg to go and work uh, we shot it in Vancouver and so we were there and we were sequestered. It was very much like we were living in a bubble together. We were working together and we, it would be easy to get on each other's nerves. And I think it was quite the opposite. We were all so grateful on so many levels just to be working, but then also working on this together, this yeah. specific yeah. thing together was sure. really, yeah, It's like summer super, camp almost. Oh my gosh, it was like super. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fun. Yes, and, and my hotel room, when you opened up the window to my hotel room, there was an abandoned strip club. Oh, right nice. In front of me. So that was what my view was. <laughs> so that was a fun little uh, few months. In Vancouver. Yeah. Was it, I, I got to ask you also about Parks and Rec. Because yeah. obviously in that show was, was amazing. Yeah, yeah. When you started, because it's so quirky, did you get it right away? Did you think people were going to get it? Did you think it was ever going to be that popular? I was, uh, when I started Parks and Rec, I started in, I think it was, a, uh, I was already in the fourth or fifth season. And, and I, um, uh, it was only supposed to be one episode. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, and wow. so when I went in, um, again, I went in, and it, the, the character was initially a Japanese American, and so like I was really excited to play it. I mean, as a Filipino American, we've I, it's so very, uh, it's not as often that I got a chance to sort of play myself. And then when I got to uh, the, uh, the to the show, um, Mike Sure, the wonderful Mike Sure who created the show, yeah. you know, they they found out I was Filipino, so they just switched it in a heartbeat to oh. Filipino American. So it was just very great. He, his name was now then became Typhoon Montalban. So it was one of those things that, like, I, the, the show already had this, like, special sauce happening. And yeah. for me to come in, and so I just felt it like I, so I wanted well. a satellite. I was just was like a satellite. But then they just embrace you so quickly. And then you mm. just, yeah, it was so it was easy to sort of jump in once that opening was there. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so we've talked about you're from Chicago. Where yep. exactly? Well, I was raised on the northwest side. The Jefferson Park is okay. sort of where mm -hmm, I sort of started. Mm -hmm. And okay. then we sort of moved our way. I went to Lane Tech High School. Yeah, yeah you're right here. Yeah, yeah, I went to uh, formerly St. Matthias. Matthias, unfortunately, uh, St. Matthias uh, in in the Lincoln Park, not Lincoln Park area, Lincoln Square. Lincoln Square. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and yeah, and I I've been a, nor a North Sider all my life. Okay, and your so, family's still here. Yeah, they're in Arlington Heights. They're in the so suburbs. So proud. Yeah, they're huge fans. Oh, oh. So shout out to my family. Thank you. Um, yeah, my you mom, told me that. Mom, I, I made it. I'm on a talk show with these wonderful the women. We, so. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. You were like, oh, thank you, Sue Family. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. You're here with us. Oh, thank no, you. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, oh my God. And you are doing, I mean, with all the acting you're doing too, and you're a teacher. Yeah, I'm a professor at the University of uh, Southern California at USC. That's so, so cool. So right on. Yeah. Film classes? Is yeah, I teach, I teach acting at the, the, um, at the School of Dramatic Arts. Ooh. And that came out, I just, you know, it sort of fell into my lap, sort of. And, and I've, I've, they've been incredible working with my, my, uh, my, teaching, mm -hmm. my teaching schedule, uh, you know, with my filming schedule. So it's been really great. I was wondering how you get that all done. Because oh, that yeah. the sequestered part and then the teaching and it was remote. And yeah, I, it's, it's a juggle. It's a, certainly a scheduling juggle. But they've been so great. Both, both might be, I've been, again, super lucky that my work project and also my school projects have been, they've been really great with coordinating so can we get back to Easter Sunday for a second yeah. because it just seems like this is an opportunity because you said to me when when I watched it when have you ever seen an entire Filipino cast yeah. on a big screen yeah I, what was that like? It's again, it was super special. It's special. It's like I don't even. That's like a superlative. Like I, I, it, it doesn't give it enough. Yes. It was like it, it's it's a once in a lifetime. Yeah. 
uh, it's momentous. I mean, and we all know that this is uh, there's a lot of weight given to this project because of the story and the cast and and also the producer, our executive producer, Steven Spielberg. So like, yeah. it's one of those things that to be given an opportunity at this scale, we know that there's a lot of responsibility with it, and we're ready for the task, and we look forward to sort of bringing the uh, the family and its commonalities to uh, you know to it's America. It's so authentic. Yeah. yeah. You say it, and you're like, oh That's yeah, right. I know no, this. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. Have you? It doesn't seem like have you worked with any of these actors before, or Joe Coy or anything? Um, I've I've worked with Melody Butu, who okay. plays my niece. We've been working as colleagues for many years in, in theater. Yeah. Okay. I grew up doing theater, and so uh, what well, grew up doing theater in college? I didn't really do it. <laughs> I didn't do it at Lane Tech because okay. it was a technical high school. <laughs> but um, that being said, yeah, I, uh, we, you know, again, as as Filipino American actors, we a lot of us knew each other. Okay. Right, because we all were in the same waiting rooms, uh -huh. fighting for the same oh, spot. Yeah. Whether we were man or female, you know, male or female, like yeah. we were all fighting for the same spot. So that's how we got to know each other. So the, this being like a, a great example of like being able to work together finally. Right, That's like cool. it's been, it's finally an opportunity that we I've not seen for so long. So I'm I'm really grateful for this one. That's really cool. All right, yeah. maybe we'll Can't see it. Stay tuned. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>